Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a fan call unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a service call for a fan call unit. Not exactly sure what's going on here but as soon as I opened up the panel look at this wiring mess. Whatever this is I can tell you right now it's gonna be a huge problem. All right, so I can see two pipes here. We have a supply and return, and then one actuator. So we have either heating or cooling, then this third pipe is our drain. And then if you see these little thick, thick wires, that relay I know is for an electric heater. So we have a fan coil unit with emergency electric heat. Snow insulation here, so I can feel that it's cold. So we're in cooling mode. Here's the thermostat, it's on off. I want to hear the fan come on. To put it in cool, fan on high. I think I can hear the fan running. Yeah. I can hear the fan running, that's for sure. That's good. So there's the actuator, right? This is our valve body and this is the actuator. It's like a little stem on top. Let's see if you guys can see this little thing. When it's loose, it's open. So that's cold. And that feels cold. So it looks like this valve is open at the moment. Let's just double check. It's a spring return. So when I kill the power, this little thing needs to spring back. That's 63.1 degrees supply air. So it turned off the power and it didn't spring back. I thought it was open, but it is in fact not. We got two wires there. We need to make sure we're getting voltage and see what kind of actuator that is. If it's 24 volt, 120 or 208. All right, so I put the system on cool. So we should have voltage between the two wires. I'm just gonna check across. You may or may not see it on video but what is that no pretty much we got nothing so I'm not getting voltage I want to bypass it by hand so you just push it let's see oh yeah I can feel it opening so now that I have it bypassed look at the temperature we're in the 50s so 56.1 yep so that valve is not opening, so we're not responding right there, 65.8. Excuse me, 55.8. So we're not responding to cooling. So that's one thing. So let's start with that. Why are we not getting voltage? I looked at the motor, it's 120 volts. Why are we not getting 120? All right, so this is gonna be really tricky. This is a complete mess here. So here's our actuator, as you can see. This is closed here all the way on the right. So when we call for cooling, this should open. This bar should slide over to the left. And here we have a relay. When I turn on the cooling, this light comes on. When I turn on the heating, that light comes on. So let's go ahead and troubleshoot this. Oh man, this is uh, tricky. Let's start by putting this in cooling. And so we set the system to 55 and it is 64 in the room. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. If we look closely, cooling light came on. So the coil for relay number two, left relay, has energized. So that should send power here and open up this actuator. But this is shut closed. All right, got the voltmeter on. It's calling for cooling. 40 volts what that is really strange go from one leg to ground got 120 we got 160 never heard of such a thing 160 160 and then 120 and then 40 oh no 
there's something <laughs> extremely wrong here somebody was messing with this that's all i can tell you there's no way so we got 120 in in each leg no 160 in one leg 120 in the next and then 40 across we're supposed to have 120 across how did this happen where are these wires coming from <laughs> wow something's completely wrong here i knew something was gonna be like that just by looking at the wiring on that unit all right so set the room to heat 64 in the room we set it to 71 and it should be calling right now as you guys can see that now the heat light came on or at least this one did so that represents heat for me this should stay closed and shouldn't have any voltage or maybe it should because they have electrical heaters that might be the for like a emergency option so there's nothing going on here so they got these pipe sensors here so since the water is cold the pipe sensor is going to sense hey it's cold we can't turn on the the actuator because there's no hot water in the pipe so let's turn on the electrical heater so right now we really shouldn't have anything here so that's nothing that from one leg to ground 160 and then 160 again but then nothing across because that's the same leg but how do you have 160 volts 150 140 now 160 nah man somebody really screwed something up here so there's my meter and i'm checking for 120 so this is the wire coming into the unit the neutral and then here's our hot a black and white there was a third wire here coming in, but that's not being used. So we have 120 volts coming in. How did this turn into 160? So this must go through something where it's getting that crazy voltage. So the system and cooling follow this relay. So this is supposed to be our coil. So I put, when it's off, I got no voltage. But then when I call, I got 40 volts across it. So I'm supposed to have 120. So one, one to leg. I got 120 and the other one to leg I have 160 120 it's ranging but across 40 volts that's completely wrong and then this one got 40 volts across then one leg I got 160 then the other leg I got 120 man this is really strange this whole thing is completely wired wrong where do i continue from here from here i gotta design something new or it's time that they change this unit what a mess all right so i got 120 coming in this one but then this one had the 160 so i took that wire and i disconnected it so if i got the 120 on this leg this one needs to go to neutral so as long as when I call on the thermostat, I send 120 through this leg, this should now work. Oh uh, well, we'll see, but uh, right now I just wanna see if I could get anything going. I put the other leg to neutral, and as you can see, if I pull on this, it's locked. So I'm gonna turn on the cooling, and then this should be free to move to the left. Cooling relay is on, and look at this, open. So now we're responding to cooling. I can't believe I even got this going. I have no idea who did what over here, but they really made a big mess. So now we fixed the cooling situation. Let's mount this back on to the valve and test our cooling. And just to prove to you guys, so from one leg to ground, we should have 120. And the other one, nothing, right? And across, we should have 120. Right, 120. Not that crazy 40 volts or 160. I don't know what that person did. They're lucky that I even messed with this. Anybody would look at this and be like, you know what, time for a new unit. So let's go ahead and mount that, check the cooling, and then figure out this heating situation. Hopefully you guys can see, but we got 53.8 degrees. It's definitely nice and chilly. So now we have automatic control 
with our cooling but we are now in October where one day might be warm so you want the cooling but if they want heat you know right now it's chilled water they have a chiller downstairs so now it's chilled water going through the pipes in about a week or two they're gonna switch over to heating so that chilled water in the pipe is going to become excuse me that's my alarm for my meter that chilled water in the pipe is gonna become hot water so it's gonna be a different setup by the time they switch over but for now let's go ahead and see if we can get the emergency electric heat to come on so when I put the system on cool the cooling relay lights up and everything works but now when I put it on heat my cooling relay lit up as well and above now I have another strange voltage of like 70 volts <laughs> what is happening here so I'm gonna check across these I got 70 volts. We're like bouncing around voltages, getting feedbacks, and I'm pretty sure it has to do with these pipe sensors. So here's the coil for the heat. 40 volts. Then the main wire coming out from one to ground. We got, we got our 120. But then this one that was supposed to be neutral, got 160. And for some reason we got both of these heating and cooling energized right now that, that has nothing to do with the wiring that i did all i did was put the neutral to the neutral where it was supposed to be and then it's it's the issues with these pipe sensors and everything is just crossed up this is not wired right so let me see what i can do to just what i need to do is find the 120 volt leg coming from the thermostat when i set it to heat i gotta get that wire and energize this relay over there for our electrical heater. So right now at least they'll have heat and cooling until we can figure out a, a solid solution for this. This is gonna be a temporary thing. Setting the system to heat. I hear the fan started. And it cuts off, just resets strangest thing getting some sort of feedback i was wondering if it was a thermostat i was wondering if it was a thermostat or the wiring here so what i did is the power wire for heat i took that and brought it to my actuator so when i put the system in heat we had control of our actuator so the thermostat is good so that has that tells me that the reason why it's you know just resetting and turning on and off is because we're getting an electrical feedback that's those strange voltages we're getting 70 volts 40 volts you know this is strictly 120 in this system so there's something completely wrong i'm gonna go ahead and put the cooling wires back then let me see what's going on with the heating um contactor right there excuse me that's a relay Let's put some straight power to it, see if this thing heats up. If not, I mean, you're gonna need some new heaters and a whole rewiring job here. Let's close up the panel. We're at 60 degrees and dropping. And we're gonna leave the service call at that. We got the cooling actuator working. We have a faulty heater. And to get to the heater, you gotta get to the top of the unit. We can't get to it, so we're going to figure out a solution for that. Probably replace the unit, but we have cooling for now. As you can see, our temperature's dropped. We have 55 degrees supply air and dropping. So, until next time, guys. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.